pleasure and uh, pain, we understand, to learn senses and emotions of your nervous system in your meat suit is a, a simple layman way we talk about it. But I could get highly educated above my pay grade uh, or my level of expertise and words that I can barely even say uh, as neuroclast level. And we will do neuroclast, and we will also do indigo class and ADHD. Now, we will be having a gentleman from Canada. I work a lot with Canadians and UK uh, people in Britain. Uh, don't ask me why. It's a Wicca thing. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. A calling, an election made sure uh, in the uh, Christian or Latter-day Saint faith. We're, we're either all or nothing, aren't we? Uh, all, uh, all is everything in the entity of the source. But when you go back, if you believe in reincarnation, we go back and start with our Ancestry.com. <sighs> Look up who owns Ancestry.com, will you, my what? host? Ancestry.com, which is another who? part of okay. our group. Who posts? It's a, uh, who is, uh, who owns? We who want to owns? know who the original. Yeah, we want to who know who owns who owns our software. A n c e s t r y dot com. Because we're discussing different okay. branches of our it's the uh, logic, software. It's okay, logical. Says yeah. privately held online, based in Utah. Um, oh. Sounds like the, the CEO church. is Deb Lou. <laughs> Ancestry.com. And acquired by Permeria Advertisers, Advisors, LLP. In Lehigh, that's Lehigh, Utah, the largest not profit. But yep. it's a for profit. It's not a non profit like we are for Ascension Cosmetics. But it says it's, it's, a, a it's the largest commercial genealogy company in the world. Wow. There are very few people who haven't heard of it, which is true. Um, okay, it's owned by GIC, having started small, which is the, the company zone. has right. grown exponentially since 1997 and became a publicly traded company in November 2009. Wow. As of October so, 2012, Ancestry.com was acquired by Permira Advisors LLP, a private equity group. Wow. Well, what's the black stain? GIC, as of 2021, uh, there's a 800 615 6560 number. Who is the Blackstone group? Will you look up who is Blackstone? Who is Blackstone? GIC. Yeah, who is the Blackstone okay. group? Because that's who owns it now, Blackstone. Blackstone? Heading okay, Global on. Investment Business Investing Capital on behalf of pension funds. Who it is Blackstone? Like, you tell me. Who owns Blackstone or who is Blackstone? Who owns Blackstone Group? It says... Uh, who owns Blackstone Group? Okay, here we go. Yeah. It's a global investment. Stephen Schwarzman? Investment. I don't know. I hope it's the same one, Blackstone Group. Black, it's, a, it's a Caucasian man. He have on a suit and a pink tie. <laughs> Founded since 1985. <laughs> and it says, Stephen Schwartz Peter. became a billionaire by managing money for other people. Dissatisfied ah. by the level of transparency offered by the stock market, Schwartzman co-founded the Blackstone Group a private equity firm in the mid-1980s. Today, Blackstone is one of the largest alternative asset managers. Now, they used a ritual called a cryptogram. Now, that's derived from the names of two founders, like Schwartzman and Peterson. Mm -hmm. So uh, Peter G. Peterson and Stephen A. Schwartzman, they started with 400000 uh, capital called seed capital. Now, uh, do you have four hundred thousand dollars you could put in, Melinda, for our company? 
No. Would you? You don't have that seed capital? I don't either. No. But wouldn't that be nice? Oh, <laughs> that would be lovely. That would be fan- <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> oh, I'm God. sure you would give it to me for this radio show, right? <laughs> oh, yes, I would, definitely. If of I had course, it, I would, yes, I would just go right ahead here, T.J. Morris. It's fine. No problem. Well, we have an... All right, well, you do that now. I want you to do that in the Wiccan way. So I want you to believe that you just gave me 400,000 seed capital, okay? Okay. Because money is just a a value of energy, see? So you just started this company for our Wicca day with 400,000 seed. It's in our mind's eye, the alchemy and we'll exchange that. Now, these founders of Blackstone used a cryptogram. It's derived from the names of the two founders, Schwartzman and Peterson. Schwartz is, uh, I've worked for a multimillionaire named Schwartz. It's German for black. I worked for Newton Boris Schwartz in Houston for years and years. Now, mm-hmm. Peter is the head of the church, Petros, or Petra. Yes. That's the masculine and fem- okay. feminine rendering of a word for Greek, meaning stock or rock. So the two founders worked at Lehman Brothers, Lehman, Lehman, and yeah. served as the head mergers, global merger and acquisition businesses. Pro, uh, the prominent investment banker, Roger C. Altman, another Lehman veteran, had a position of Lehman Brothers to join Peterson and Schwartzman on Blackstone or at Blackstone uh, in 87, but left in 1992 to join Clinton administration as a deputy treasurer secretary. Clinton, that is as in William Clinton, the Bill Clinton, the president of the United States. So we evoked Cl- Trump and Clinton. We might as well uh, evoke Barack Obama about, because I like him. <laughs> That was my mother's Democratic president. Bless her heart. She's on the other side helping us now. So we do have an other side, just like you've seen television shows with uh, Van Prague. Uh, is James Von Prague, are you familiar with him? Uh, the name's not up? James Von Prague. What is it? Wait, that, is that the name of the person you're asking me to look up now? Well, he did uh, medium work. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, please look him up. James Van. You have P-R-A-N-G. to give me the last name. I don't know how to spell that name. Hold okay, on. Okay, well, you know how to spell James and Van, but it has two A's. James it's really Von Prog. P R A H. Yes. He's the group here. Hold on. Here in- Hold on. Uh-huh. James Van. V A N. Yes, two words, space. A third word. P R A G H. P R A A G H. So we're going to evoke his name for him to help him. He's a very sweet soul that has helped us in television shows. James Van Prague. And, yeah, he's an uh, American author, producer, and television personality. He describes himself as a clairvoyant and spiritual medium. He has written yeah. numerous <laughs> books, including New York Times a seller, Talking to Heaven. Yeah, so he's a friend of ours here in Pensacola and in Gulf Breeze and Navarre, where I live in Gulf Breeze, folks, the mecca capital of UFO Association here. I didn't want that position, but I was evoked to come here based on my daughter's traveling to the other world, transforming passing because life and death is strictly a part of transformation of like-minded souls that come and go from this planet as spirits and james came here to do our uh dinner in pensacola meeting and a big uh salon meeting with another woman of color beautiful beautiful talented lady marcia uh you want to look her up before we go um okay marcia who now uh, this is going to be a little hard. Marsha, uh, oh gosh, Marsha, uh, er- oh, it's Erica. Uh, we call her Magic Marsha, but uh, Erica, uh, why am I, Erica, uh, oh, br- 
a, a What's the last name? Haney. B O U. Her name is Erica E R I C K A. Uh huh. Space Marcia M A R C I A. Busserhain. She married a man with a French. I think it's French New Orleans. B O U S S A R H A N E. And she hired me in her bookstore to be a psychic. I can't. I can't figure out how to spell it. You have to spell the name, the last name. I got Marsha Hyphen, and what's the last name? Because I really got to go. B O U S S S S. Did you get S S? A R. S S right? Yes. Yes. Okay. A R H A N E. A R H A A N E. No, just one A, Haney, H-A-N-E. Okay. And she is very much, uh, has a lot of witchy type of uh, domains. She is a formalized uh, medium here with James Van Prague, but she does our area choice events for psychics. Okay. And she's a gifted psychic medium. Okay. What is what can you find on her? Okay, I have the whole page here. It's seven o'clock. I have to go. Okay, we'll go. Her connection okay. with it says uh her name book for reading International Celebrity Psychic Medium, Erica Marcia Boucharne, I don't know how to say it. Um well, Boucharne. Boucharne. Has helped countless people with issues in relationships, career, family, health, finance, and more. She uses her mediumship, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clair, clairsentience, clairsense, clairsage, clair, eight, clairant agency, and to help others find closure and insight into their lives. As a psychic medium, she is able to connect with loved ones who cross over to the other side. Erica's a generational psychic that uses no divination tool for her readings. She has been featured on TV and interviewed with national radio stations across the country. She hosts her own weekly popular radio show, Whispers from the Heart. So she's one of our sisters, our healers, our diviners. So I want you to come up with a name of my friends in the psychic world for our group. Mar- uh, Melinda, she's a Marsha. You're a Melinda. You're M's, as psychic mediums go. When you come up with an M number, Melinda. And Marsha. So I work with these two ladies in the Van Prog psychic medium world. James Van Prog trains people. I train people. Marsha trains people. And Melinda's going to because she's uh, going to learn all the things I do, I hope, <laughs> in mentoring in uh, radio, television, uh, readings, psychic work. And Melinda is now doing her own psychic work. And do you want to tell people how to get in contact with you in case they want a reading? Because uh, you need I'm to I'm going to leave that out for now. I'm, the next segment will okay. go in depth with everything. Because okay. I have to leave. I have to go. All right. Well, yeah, she does readings. Thank you so much for joining me today and starting our Wicca show. So we'll yes, I thank you very things? much for having me on, T, uh, Teresa J. Morris. I really appreciate it. And the next <laughs> segment... I'm looking forward to going in depth with what we really in, in, intentionally planned. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Now All right. next Wednesday we should have Sam Flanagan. Okay. okay. ADHD on the Wicca show, but uh, we're going to call it something, and maybe we'll make him on Thursday. But let's talk about that with him in Canada. All right. So we'll okay? talk tomorrow. Let's have. Let's cut okay. up. Okay. Thank you. Blessings. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, folks. So that is Melinda. T D Amico D apostrophe A M I C O. Okay, bye bye, Melinda. And uh, now she's off. Now I would like to uh, make sure you guys know that uh, we will be here.